Hey everybody, this is the second part of this robotic arm tutorial. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through how you put this shield together and connect all the parts. Welcome to my channel, this is Chen the Design Maker and uh, this channel will be all about making robotic projects. So if you're into this kind of things, hit the subscribe button. Let's see what we have here. Got some pin connectors, four potentiometers, plus four knots, two parallel, two power connectors, one terminal block, and one for the DC power. And uh, here, this piece, I believe, is gonna be used for Bluetooth connection, which is gonna be an extension. So, by the look of the board, we'll need to put all these pins here that matches our Arduino, all the controls. Gonna be here, so four potentiometers over here. This Bluetooth expansion connector can go here, and the last is uh, the terminal block and uh, the power. That's straightforward. I'll just put everything on board so we have a clear preview. So maybe we should split the connectors first. If we do the potentiometer first, then we will block away of all the pins. So maybe we still should do the pins first. Now we're gonna heat up our solder. By the way, I just got this cotton ball thing uh, is supposed to be a really good thing for uh, cleaning the iron. So let's try. Okay, let's put it up. And now we can start soldering. But always remember, put down the iron first and uh, the last. Right now I'm just putting solder to uh, pins on the both ends for each side. And if we have some problem, like, like they're not perfectly aligned, we can not fix it because it's still two pins. It's not like to no them, and uh, that will be too hard to fix. All right, now we can finish it up with the rest. Positioning is good, but I don't like the solder form in there, so I can put the other pin there so that it is fixed. And I can put my little heat right here to make it look better. Alright, let's finish the small pieces first. I think there's a rule, I think it's called. Uh, 
the bottom to the top. Basically, solder the bottom piece first, then you work your way up. I think it makes sense um, because taller component gonna get in your way. There's no way for you to fix it later. And now we're gonna do this tiny three thing. Okay, and now here is a problem. See, I think we work on <laughs> this guy first. That uh, you know, put it down here, and there's no way to hold this three pins. <laughs> so it's gonna be a little trickier. Yeah, maybe we should uh, just use something to hold it up. Maybe just a snob. Okay. So on this one part, there's a little piece in the back that looks like a jumper. I obviously missed. So uh, that is actually used for this two pins here. That is labeled Uno or Input. I think it is a power selector that selects either to get power from the Uno or the input, which is external. So we'll have to put the two pins on here. Now, this is the final board. Okay, now we have the finished board. We can put the Arduino and the shield into the robotic arm. Platform. So you all need all these standoffs and this countersunk screws. The first thing we could do is find the matching point, so we know we chose to be mounted. You can, you can just use our thumb to screw the standoffs. Now we can put the Arduino board on top of the standoffs. Once the board is stably mounted, we can put the shield down. Just push all the pins into the Arduino. There it goes. And uh, the last step is to connect all the servos. Notice how you can run the cables through this pre cut out holes so I can better manage them rather than have them dangling everywhere and also on the sides. There was an extension cable in the kit to make this one longer for the draw. So uh, make sure you connect to that and uh, make sure your white is connected to the orange, which is for the signal. The servo one will be the draw servo and uh, the second one will be for the left servo. The third is the right servo. Make sure all the signal pins are on this end. And lastly is the base servo that controls uh, the left to right. So once you're done that, it's a time for powering up. So uh, connecting this power supply come with the kit. And if you already preloaded the programs in the Arduino, it will start working. Also make sure the jumper here is connected, is attached. The jumper is actually for um, powering the Arduino from this 5 volt supply. So um, if I unplug the jumper, the servos will be powered, but the Arduino won't. So just make sure you do that if you're powering it this way. You could also power the Arduino separately uh, if you are doing the programming. Thanks for watching! Let me know if you have any questions about this project and in the next video I will cover how the program works and how you can customize it to do whatever you want. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button 
and uh, I'll see you next time.